Okay guys, I'm on the journey of discovering the best pumpkin or squash for pumpkin pie. This year, I'm gonna try three different kinds. This is the buckskin. This is supposed to be really, really good because it's high in sugar. It's got a nice rich color, so I'm hoping a nice flavor to it. Um, this is the buttercup squash, also high in sugar, supposed to be really good. I'm excited to try all these different types. And then there's butternut squash. I've already used this one. It is delicious, but it's on the lighter side. So if you like a squash that's not so thick and rich and dense, go with this. It's amazing, and I'm just gonna show you what, the, what it looks like. So I'm gonna get these roasted, cut them all, show you what they look like inside, and then I'll create fillings for each of them. They each require a pumpkin pie, or usually requires about two cups of puree. So I'm hoping this buckskin will go far enough. They only had one left, but it gets a lot of good um, reviews as far as pumpkin pies go. Um, I could not find the fairy tale and the Cinderella. Those kept getting rave reviews for pumpkin pies. So I'm gonna plant those in my garden next year and I'll try those. I'm really excited. I really want to find the most delicious pumpkin pie recipe. Okay, so let's get these cut up. The first thing I'm gonna do is get one of these. I'll just cut it from the center right here. Wow, this is soft. Wow, look at that. Whoa, that is really nice and dark and orange. Mm, I can see why that will make a good pumpkin pie. Let's cut the center of this. I'll show you what that, this one, this buttercup looks like. Ooh, it's pretty orange, but not quite as dark as the buckskin. Let's look at the butternut squash. Take the top of this stem first. I have a cutting board here I should be using. Okay, we'll cut right down the middle of this. center so definitely the butt skin has a the most vibrant orange color butternut squash comes in second and then the buttercup comes in third I'm gonna get these cleaned out and cut up and then I'll throw them in my oven I'll let them cook I'll tell you how long you need to cook them for how to get what I do to get a more moist feeling I'm gonna do both to see if there's a difference because I use water and some people don't so I'm gonna do both and show you the difference I have four bowls for my four pie fillings that I'm going to make. I have the three different fresh squash, and then I want to see how it compares to the canned pumpkin. I'm really wanting to know if there is a difference. So I'm going to add one of those too. Um, I know, I did this really, really fast. I also have the, my bowls with all the seasonings and flowers to throw in there. So I'm going to mix these up. I'm using the exact same recipe for all of them to see the difference. I thought it would be better to compare and contrast if I use the same recipe. So I actually got this recipe from Sally's Baking Addiction online. Um, she has really, really good reviews, five stars out of like 174. So it better live up to its hype. Um, so all you need to do is put in two cups of pumpkin puree. So I'm gonna mix up this brown sugar and eggs. I'll show you. And then once I do that, I'll just throw in all the rest of the ingredients and get it um, mixed up with my KitchenAid, or not my KitchenAid, my Cuisinart hand mixer. And then I will follow the recipe. So it has two cups pumpkin puree, eggs, brown sugar, cornstarch, salt, cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, cloves, heavy cream. That's how you know it's a good recipe. Milk and just these crusts. So I'll get combining, I'll get combining all these ingredients combining, combining all these ingredients. Okay, I just wanted to add, you're probably wondering how I'm gonna keep track of which one is which. So I labeled under the pie plates um, which squash it's gonna be which one. And then for my bowls, I just have little labels underneath. And so I will go accordingly. But I just wanted to show you how I'm scooping this out. 
just gonna get in there. It just comes out real nicely. Okay. Okay, I got them all mixed up and labeled. This is the buckskin. It looks like there's shredded carrot in there. No matter how much I blended it, it didn't blend. Um, I'm gonna sample it in a minute. I'll use my little spoon here. This is the butternut squash, and it blended really nicely. It's got a little bit, this is very orange, and this one's a more subtle orange. Mm, okay, don't fall in spoon. Okay. And then look at the buttercup squash. Mmm, this has such a rich golden color. This is probably one of the favorites of all time for me so far. We gotta taste it and see how it cooks up. Okay, then here's the canned pumpkin. It is more of a light orange, not that like rich golden tone, but it's a little thicker too than these pumpkins. So, all right, let's taste test them. I got separate spoons this time for those who I was grossing out earlier. Let's try it. Mm, tastes like your canned pumpkin. I'm so excited to try this one. Mmm. Wow. Wow. That one is really, really sweet and really rich and but not that overpowering pumpkin flavor. That is so good. I like that a lot better than the canned pumpkin. Okay, let's try a butternut squash. Mmm. That's really good too. It's a little bit um, milder than this one, and it's sweet. It's subtle. Let's try the carrots. I mean, buck skin squash. Slurp. Mm, that has a really great flavor. It's got that texture. I guess if you're going for a carrot cake texture, you'd like this one. We'll see how it cooks up. Maybe it won't have that weird texture. But it's still really good too. They all taste pretty similar. I'm getting more of the spices out of this one. I think because it's more mild and not as flavorful. So this one tastes a little bit more spicy. And if you like a lot of spice, this is good. But they're all really good. I have to say, this is my favorite flavored one. I'm gonna do a little experiment with my family and I'm gonna have them each try one and tell me which one there is their favorite without knowing what type of pie it is. So, okay, let's get them pouring and into the oven. Okay, what is this one labeled? This is the butternut squash, so we got my label right here. Okay, I'm gonna pour it in. I know it's not gonna use nearly as much of this filling, so I'm kind of happy about it because I can use it twice. So I can store up this, keep this um, filling stored up in my refrigerator for up to five days. Okay, pour that in. Let's see what this one says. Buttercup squash. It's the winner so far. Ooh, it has some thicker chunks in there. That's okay, that should cook out pretty nicely. Oh, that is so beautiful. Okay. Buckskin. And then the canned, canned pumpkin. This one was the easiest to make. Okay, let's put them in the oven. And I'm gonna cook them until there is no longer any liquid. When I put a fork into it, it takes about anywhere from 40 minutes to an hour, sometimes shorter. So just keep an eye on it. I'll let you know how long it took me. Here they are, they all turned out great. Can you tell which one is which? They all look pretty similar to me. Um, I'm gonna get them sliced out into some plates. I'm gonna try them and see which one is my favorite and then I'll have my husband do the same. But the difference is he doesn't know which pie belongs to which squash. So if he ends up choosing the canned pumpkin pie, 
I'm going to be pretty surprised. And if he does, it might not be worth it to go to all the effort of roasting some squash, but we'll see. All right, the moment has finally arrived. I got all of the pies cooked, they've cooled a bit, and I've got them sliced out. I've actually forgotten which one belongs to which. I know that they're lined up correctly, so that's perfect for me. I can really decide which one is my favorite without it not knowing what it is. Well, now it's a real blind <laughs> test. She's been at this for a long time. I and know, I'm really, really tired <laughs> at this of, point. A lot of love has gone into this spread <laughs> on the counter here. And I'm the beneficiary because I love pie. Yes, and I would have to say, I thought it was worth it in the long run to find what is the most perfect pie, but I have a feeling that my husband's gonna pick one that is going to be the easier one and it's gonna frustrate me. So I hope it doesn't work out that way. Well, we'll see. I'm very curious. So how's this go? Okay, so I'm just gonna get a dollop of whipping cream. I just had to give a little two bits to this Dairy Gold. It's by far the best heavy cream. So buy that. <laughs> okay, let's just get a little dollop. I can take this fork. You can't have pumpkin pie without heavy cream. Why don't you go first, you? Okay. You really I'm really, in the effort, so I'm you really, the really first excited. Bite. Okay, I'm gonna spread that out. I guess I'll just grab a top piece. Okay, let's see what this one tastes like. Mmm. Mmm. Are you gonna go all the way down the line or I'm gonna cover it? Yeah, go for it. Okay, that one's really good. I'm gonna go get this one now. That texture was really, really light and fluffy. And I could taste the spices. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, <laughs> mmm, that is so good. That one's better than that one for sure. I can't remember what that one is, but. Really, that big a difference, huh? Yeah, the texture's a little thicker and it's got a lot more nutty flavor to it, a little bit more rich. Okay, let's try this one. What are you thinking so far? So I found the first one to be just a little fibrous, honestly. <laughs> it's just a, That's just so a funny. tiny bit, almost <laughs> like a, Little tiny shred of carrot in there or something. <laughs> and the second one was superior, just right out of the gate. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Wow. Okay. Now it's got even richer flavors going on and it's more dense. Hmm. It's got a strong flavor, more pumpkin-y flavor. That one's smoother. Yeah, it's smoother and it's a little more dense and rich. Okay. Okay. Let's try this last one. Hmm. Okay. That's very, very, very pumpkiny. Is that a word, pumpkiny? Actually, I it's didn't my get a new lot word. Of flavor out of that one. Yeah, I was gonna honest. say. Well, not at first, but then at the end, I got a strong pumpkin flavor. Oh, I'm gonna try it again, but it's very smooth. I, the smooth. I think this one is gonna be like a canned pumpkin. <laughs> okay, I'm really liking these two. These are two are my favorite so far. I have to try it again. All right. That one is a lot more dense. Mm. And this one's a little bit. It's got like more of a delicate texture into it. It's, it's a little even lighter. Yeah, I'm surprised that one wasn't as flavorful as I thought it would be. These two have more flavor than these two. And it's, this one's a little bit more dense than this one. This one has a little bit more silkiness and a little bit of a soft, I don't know how, quite how to explain it, a soft flavor. It's really light, but it still has a lot of flavor. This one has a little darker, richer flavor. I'm going with this one. That one's my favorite. Mm. Let's try this one one more time. All right. So if you like carrot cake and a tiny bit of, it doesn't have that much <laughs> texture, okay? I might be exaggerating a little no. bit, but I like texture. And that one on the ends got really great flavor, but do you want me to be totally blatantly okay, honest? Okay, can I tell you something that's hilarious? What? <laughs> I know exactly which one this is and I in my earlier in the earlier part of the video I was comparing it to carrot cake so it's so funny that oh, and I was saying I'm gonna put some of my shredded carrot in here well, so we you nailed it <laughs> so <What> perfect <laughs> okay all right hey so Jeeks we talked yourself. at the same time I don't care as much for that one but to be totally honest I like all of those equally 
in flavor and it's going to come down to this one having the to me you say that one's silky i say this one is like silky perfection actually in my mind it's light. this is a little fluffier though it has a little bit more fluff to it yeah so. i like that one okay number one tie for second so Dead last. <laughs> okay so do you want to know which one is which wait no what's your vote for number one? Oh, you okay like that one better so I like this one, number one, number two, number three, number four. Okay. All right. Let's find out what they are. Okay. Roll. What's the drum roll? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm so happy he didn't say canned pumpkin. All my effort was worth it. I have slaved away literally for the last six hours. My legs are hurting and I just want to sit down. But it's so fun to find this out because I want to be that person that brings the most amazing pumpkin pie to Thanksgiving family dinner that people rave about it. So I want to build a good reputa reputation. Okay, so the first one was the buckskin. He was so right. It is got that more um, thick texture, those carrot shred type texture, and it didn't change with cooking time. And then this this one is the butternut squash. So it turns out my favorite is butternut squash. And then his favorite was, are you excited to find out? Yeah, I'm dying to know. The buttercup squash. Buttercup? Yeah, buttercup. That was butternut, that's buttercup. Yeah, butternut and buttercup. So huh. they're slightly different because this is darker and a little bit richer. And you like the darker, more richer flavors. And yeah. I like something that's a little lighter and more fluffy. And then, you know, last but not least, the canned pumpkin. I'm just so, so happy he didn't like that one the most because now it means all my efforts were worth it. And I am one of those people that want to bring the best pumpkin pie to Thanksgiving that everyone talks about and leaves saying that was the best pie. <laughs> so I'm trying to build a good reputation. Okay. Um, anyways, his favorite was, I thought, going to be my favorite, but it turns out I like the way the butternut cooked. It's a little bit more lighter, fluffier, and I, I can see why he likes the buttercup better because it's darker and a little bit richer. Yeah. So. Yep. Very good pie though. Yeah. All, these. All, all four. I don't think. Yeah, they're all really good. All right. Well, it turns out we don't like the same thing every time, huh? You know, well, most of the time. <laughs> Time, no, we don't. I'm just. I. I was curious if we would have the same favorite, but no, we don't. Well, so. Good job. Oh, hallelujah. I'm just so glad the canned pumpkin didn't win. I was looking at the recipes and everything calls for canned pumpkin, but it was a fun experiment. So I highly recommend the butternut and the buttercup if you want to have the most delicious pie at your next Thanksgiving. So thanks so much for watching. This was kind of fun at the end. <laughs> okay. Okay, bye. Oh my gosh.